second one's definitely a shooter. Nice job. Nice. You just appreciate the little things. I'm just happy to be feeding deer and running cameras right now. Two or three big shooters. We have a lot of deer that we'll be looking for from last year. Well, we finally made it up to Kansas, and uh, Eli is going to be youth season hunting here in about 10 days. So we're going to get in here, we're going to put some cameras out, we're going to put a little bit of Big and J in front of them, and we are going to see if we have got a deer worth coming and hunting. Uh, we've got several from last year, one of the main bucks that we'll be after. We, uh, we called him Donkey Kong last year because... Uh, I kept saying next year it's going to be on like Donkey Kong, but I think the buck's original name was Harvey, uh, and he came in a couple years ago right during Hurricane Harvey, so that's why he got the name Harvey, but uh, last year I wasn't sure that's who it was, but pretty sure uh, they're the same buck, and so hopefully he'll make an appearance. I know we'll know in a few weeks whenever we come back if we're getting any pictures of him, but... He's going to be the number one target buck. We've got a few other bucks that'll that'll fit the bill too. So we're going to get in here and get this little secluded bean field. And hopefully these deer are hitting it real hard. It's still green, uh, still lush, and I know the deer should be wearing it out. Okay, now pick it up more. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. All right, it's September your fourteenth, opening day of deer season in Georgia. Bow season, that is. But uh, here at Real Tree Farms, I'm going to try to take out a doe or two if we can get one to come in here. I'm sitting on a field in this redneck blind. Uh, I've done plowed it up, but it's been so hot and dry. I hadn't even planted yet, but I plowed about half of it up and we got it turned under. Still got clover around on half of it around these edges, and these deer's been still in here feeding, so. Hopefully one will get in here close enough to let me sling an arrow at one and see what the old Hoyt can do to her.
second was definitely a shooter. I, you know, I grunted with my mouth just to try to stop them, get a better, a little bit more video of them, but I didn't figure there was going to be much response. It's pretty early in the year, but he acted a little interested when I first grunted at him, but I guess he didn't like the way it sounded, but I ain't even got my grunt call with me. I just do it with my mouth, but um, nice deer right there. I'm, I'm on dope patrol, but that could change. He walks back by. Well, she's dialed in. We're out here, you know, we hunted this past weekend, opening weekend, shot some does. We're trying to get several more on the ground. Just with it heating up, the target buck that I was after, he's kind of moved back nighttime, changed his pattern, I think, with this full moon. And you know, I think we're gonna be, you know, set for this afternoon. It's cooled down just a little bit compared to yesterday. And, you know, uh, we're thankful to have a guy, Michael Pitts, who's been a friend of Realtree for a long time. You know, he's been getting our bows ready for several years. He's part of the Realtree family. He lives just right up the road from here. Hunts actually the same piece of property that we have here on the farm. It's a little swirling wind, but we hope it all works out for the best. Golly, I'm thankful for this Georgia deer. Man, the, the guy does a good job, and not to mention, he's one of the funniest guys that I know. I feel kindergarten because I don't play. He does a good job with everybody on the Realtree team. He gets all of our bows prepared for this time of year. Man, this isn't the way I wanted deer season to start. Basically, we were right over here towards the bottom of that ridge over there. We were hanging a set for deer season about, I don't know, I guess it was about three or four weeks ago. Started hanging the ladders, did good with the ladders. Got to stay in portion, just lost all energy. Really couldn't even finish hanging the set. And I was just gassed. Uh, ended up finding out the next day that I had a hundred percent. Sorry. hard to do but uh ended up finding out that I had a 100% uh, blockage in the LAD and basically that's your widow maker that's what can end it all uh, both the doctors said I was lucky to be alive so they went in they tried to uh, they did a calf and tried to put a stent in, and they couldn't actually get a stent into the area where the blockage was. So the next step was a robotic assisted bypass surgery, which is what I had on the 15th. And basically they make two incisions that the robotic arms go into and one incision a camera goes in. And you've actually got an artery that runs right down through here and they cut that artery and drop it into the bottom of the heart below the blockage. So that artery now feeds the whole left side of my heart. It is great to be back out in the woods today. I can't tell you how glad I am to be back out in the woods and actually the stand we were hanging when a lot of this came about is just right over there in seeing distance. It's crazy how things change.
sorry. <laughs> I knew it'd be hard to talk about it. You forget about, you know, it, it's it's easy to forget about all the good things. <laughs> it changes a lot of a lot of the perspectives you have as far as taking things serious now. You know, you just almost want to have fun. Uh, you you look at life differently when when it's almost taken from you. You just appreciate the little things. I'm just happy to be feeding deer and running cameras right now. him back up. We couldn't find any blood, but we're on her now. I think she's bleeding good. Right. Yep, to her. Yeah, nice job. She nice. Where'd she go? I mean, she went. 100, maybe a hundred. Yeah. All right. Y'all All right. Uh, got room on the back of that buggy? Five star service going on around. Hey, wait, I thought you made the rules. The what? I thought you, I I thought you made the rules.